Hello and welcome to this Mithril Money Securities Investment 101 course. This is Lecture 11, the flat yield of a bond. Now, this is the simplest kind of bond yield measurement. Why it's simple is because if we normally look at a bond, we normally look at the full kind of period. This will be a four-year kind of redemption maturity bond. But the only thing we care about with a flat yield is two things. One, how much we paid for a bond, and here I'm paying a premium price there, I'm paying $5 over the odds. I also care about the coupon I'm going to get. So let's just quickly draw the bond. Base value of $100, 4%, so therefore it's going to be paying me 4 at the end of the year. I do not care about any of this stuff to the right here. I do not care about what I'm going to get back at the end. I don't even really care about the face value because I'll be getting that back at the end. I don't care about that. The only reason I need to know that is so that I can work out that I'm going to get a coupon of four. It's the only thing that's of any interest to me. Let's tell you a little story then. So what we'll do is we'll have a special farm. Now, in this special farm... There are some special products. The special product is a goose. Now, it's not a very good goose, but I'll do my best. I tried to practice this earlier, but I'm really not very good at drawing geeses. There are three of these geeses in this special farm, so let's just copy that and paste that two more times. There we go. And the normal price for one of these special geese is 100. And the local currency is the G... E, which is the golden egg. So it normally costs you 100 golden eggs to buy one of these special geese because they have a special coupon rate. And the coupon rate is four golden eggs per year. There we go. A normal price is 100 for one of these geese. Okay, so I say to the farmer, I'll buy one of these geese. And he says, okay, I'll charge you the normal price. And away we go. So let's just have a look and see what happens to the flat yield of this goose. There's my goose. I paid 100 GE for this thing. And I'm going to get 4 GE a year from this thing. That's just going to give me a nice simple flat yield calculation of 4 divided by 100 equals 4%. Nice, simple calculation there for this goose that cost me 100. And that's it for flat yield. Can I buy the next goose? And he says, oh, they're quite in demand, actually. They're quite good, these geese. People are coming in for them. So I'm going to have to charge you a premium here. I'm going to have to charge you slightly over the odds. And I say, OK, I can afford to pay up to 105. Fantastic. So I'm going to pay a premium of five to get this second golden goose. We take that one out of the shop and it comes to me for 105 golden eggs. But remember, I'm still only going to get four golden eggs a year. That's going to give me four divided by 105. I need my special Microsoft calculator for this because I can't really do this in my head. So we're going to do four divided by 105. And that gives me, I think there, that's about 3.81%. So I reckon that's 3.81% for my flat yield for my premium goose. And now I come to my final goose in the shop. I just need to move the whole thing up. And I'll go for that third goose. Let's take it out of the shop then. And this time the farmer says, just to get rid of my last one, I'll charge you a nice discount price. I'll only charge you a 95 discount, five golden egg discount for this particular goose. Does that change the number of eggs I get from the goose? No, I still get four golden eggs per goose. There we are. That's my third and final goose. So let's work out the flat yield for that. The flat yield for that is four divided by 95. And again, need my special Microsoft calculator for this one. So 4 divided by 95 equals, I reckon that's 4.21%. 4.21%. And there we have it. We've got the three flat yields. We've got the, the three different golden egg laying geese at different prices. We've got the flat yields. We don't care that we're losing five on this goose eventually once we cash it in the par value we don't care that we're gaining an extra five 
next one when we cash it in again for the par value many years later perhaps that is completely irrelevant with the flat yield but we do have these cash flow figures here now just before we sign off there's one relationship i think we need to notice here if you look at the price there and the price there and the price there and compare that with the yields there's something very subtle going on let's just bring up a proper bond for those who like proper bonds there's only two things we care about on this proper bond face value so that we can take the coupon rate to work out how much we're going to get per year what we're going to do is draw a little seesaw and what we'll do so we'll just put the coupon rate in here four percent and we'll say okay let's pay 100 for this bond well what will happen if you pay 100 for a bond with a face value of 100 so face value 100 then what's going to happen is your flat yield will be equal to the coupon rate it will be four percent just go back to the previous slide four percent when i pay 100 now what we'll do is we'll pay slightly over the odds for a bond a heavier bond you might say and this one is 105 dollars and the rate we're going to get there the kind of flat yield rate will be lower so the flat yield rate there what was it 3.81 yeah, 3.81 when we pay over the odds so that's going to be equal to 3.81 percent and when we go for a light bond when we only pay a lighter than normal price of 95 dollars then it's a flat yield which is higher than the coupon rate 4.21 percent when we get a discount bond so 4.21 one percent so the flat yield is heavier than the coupon rate when we pay a lighter price and the flat yield is lighter than the coupon rate when we pay a heavy price and when we pay the exact price the flat yield is the exact coupon rate i think that's enough for flat yield see you next time